hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am going to show you the configuration for time of day routing we already discussed about the time of day in our previous lecture so today we'll discuss about how we can create the things how we can configure these things and how we can assign those things so as of now i'm just logging it on my cucm and then i'll show you how we can configure these things so if you remember we created uh, we we need to create the time periods first then we will create the time schedules then we will give those time schedules to the partitions and then we will create two similar directory numbers and then we will give different partitions to the same directory numbers like on one directory number on one like one two three four directory number we will give on shift partition and the same another directory number we will give a different partition that is off shift partition so let's do one thing let's create the time period first for that you need to go to the call routing class of control and then you need to go to the time period so what we will do we will create two time periods so let me click on add new so once you click on add new you need to give the name description and all these things so let me just give the name on shift time period the description we can give the same on shift time period time of day start let's say we will take same uh, which we discussed in the in the uh, previous lectures 8 to 4 let's say 8 am to 4 pm and week we can take week from monday to friday or we you can customize it as well depending on your configuration how you want to uh, configure it so i'm just taking on shift 8 to 4 and from monday till friday so i just created one time period that is on shift time period so next what we will do i will create two off shift time periods which will be from 4 to 12 and then 12 am to 8 am in the morning so let me create add new time periods and let's say let me give the name as of shift time period one off shift time period one and let me give a time of day start could be let me give the 12 to 8 and then week the same that is monday through friday and save it so now what we will do we will create another off shift time period that will be between 4 pm till 12 am in the midnight so let me create add new and then let me just give the off shift time period and let me give the name as off shift time period two and in the time of day start we can take uh, four hours like 4 pm till 12 am midnight and repeat every monday till friday so now what we did we just created the time period so it's saying field and time cannot have a lesser value okay time of day ends we need to give 4 to 24 and let's click on save so now we created on shift time period that is from 8 am to 4 pm on shift time period one that is from 12 am to 8 am in the morning and then off shift time period 2 that is from 4 pm till 12 am midnight now we need to assign these time periods to the time schedules for that we need to create the time schedules and you need to go to the same call routing class of control and then time schedule so once you click on time schedule you need to create two time schedules now like one is for on shift time schedule and another one is off shift time schedule so let me just create the on shift time schedule first on shift time schedule and let me give the same as a description 
and once you click on save you will be able to see the available time periods here in this time schedule as you can see it is showing available time periods so i'm creating on shift time schedule so i will just select this one drag it to the selected time periods and click on save so now our on shift time period is assigned to on shift time schedule let me create another one that would be uh, off shift time schedule let me just give the name as off shift time schedule so here we don't need to create two off shift time schedule because we can assign those two off shift time periods under this one off shift time schedule because we only have one option of time off shift time schedule in the partition that not there will not be a two options so let me just drag this time period one as well as time off shift time period two in the selected time periods so that this off shift time period one and time period two will be assigned to this particular off shift time schedule so the next part would be to assign this time schedule to the partition for that we need to create the partitions first the same thing we need to go to the call routing class of control and partition here we will create two partitions like one is on shift partition and then we will create the off shift partition as well so let me create the two partitions first and we can even create the both partitions in one go like you don't need to click add new twice and then you can create different different partitions i can just uh, create the partitions in this way the first one is i can say on shift partition and another one i can like uh, off shift partition and i can click on save so it will create one on shift partition and another one is that is off shift partition now let me check whether these partitions are created or not so as you can see it here it is showing on shift partition as well as off shift partition so let me select this on shift partition first and our step would be to give that time schedules to this particular partition as you can see once we open this time uh, once we open this shift on shift partition there is an option for time schedule and once we click on this drop down it will give the options of on shift time schedule and off shift time schedule this all the time is a default one so as of now we need to give on shift time schedule to this particular partition and click on save so we give this on shift time schedule to on shift partition now we go back to the find list and we can give the off shift time schedule to the off shift partition this one so let's just open this off shift partition and in this off shift partition we will give that off shift time schedule and once we once we are done with this time schedule we will give this particular partition to the directory number so let me select this off shift time schedule to this off shift partition and click on save So now what we will do now we will create two similar directory numbers and then we will give this particular on shift and off shift partitions to that particular directory numbers so for that we can go to the same call routing directory number here we can choose the numbers like let's say uh, i am creating like let, let's click on add new first and we can give that like the same we need to give the same directory numbers to different different partitions so let's say i am choosing one two three four as a partition so what sorry not the partition one two three four as a directory number so what i will do i will give uh, the on shift partition which i just created to this particular directory number so once i click on this i will just click on save so if anyone is calling on that hotline number 
on gateway i just did the like we can say we just get uh we just did the configuration to route it to the one two three four directory number in that particular time frame and how it will check that particular time frame depends on this on shift partition because in this on shift partition we have on shift time schedule under that on shift time schedule we have on shift time period and under that on shift time period we have the timing that is 8 am till 4 pm so if anyone is calling between 8 am to 4 pm it will hit this partition and if it is hitting this partition that means it is hitting this directory number so in this case i am just assigning one directory number you can assign it like a, you can use it as a hunting as well you can uh, you can give this particular number as a hunt pilot number as well if you have like five agents 10 agents 15 20 100 hundreds of agents you can give this particular partition to the hunt pilot number so this uh, the call will land on 1 2 3 4 on shift partition only when there is a call between 8 am till 4 pm so it's add is successful so let me add a new directory number that is the same that will be 1234 because we don't need to change the configuration for the off shift partition so i will just give the same directory number 1234 root partition i will select now is off shift partition so now if somebody is calling to this number that is the hotline number and then it is converting it to 1234 but the call is in between 4 pm till 8 am in the morning like 4 pm till 12 am in the midnight and then 12 am in the midnight till 8 am in the morning then it will hit the off shift partition how it is hitting the off shift partition because in this off shift partition we have off shift time schedule under that off shift time schedule we have off shift time periods and in the off shift time periods we already defined the timings that is 4 pm till 12 a.m. in the midnight and then 12 a.m. till 8 a.m. in the morning. So what we will do if any call is uh, landing on this off shift partition 1234 number, I want my all calls to go to the voicemail. So what we will do, I will go to here. Uh, here is an option you can see forward all. I will click on this voicemail. So all calls on this 1234 number in the off hours, that is 4 p.m till 8 a.m. in the morning will go to the voicemail. As you can see, it's saying forward all to the voicemail. So it is going to the voicemail. And in this voicemail profile, you just need to give the voicemail profile which you created, like so that it can uh, go to the voicemail. So you can choose the voicemail profile here. I am just choosing a random one, which I created it earlier. So just choose the voicemail profile and check mark this forward all voicemail and then click on save. So once you click on save, you have two similar directory numbers that is 1234 created with two different partitions that is on shift partition and the off shift partition. If somebody is calling between 8 a.m. till 4 p.m., it will hit the 1234 with on shift partition. And if somebody is calling between 4 p.m. till 8 a.m., then it will hit the 1234 number in the off shift partition which is again then routing it to voicemail as we already as we already check this like check this check mark of voicemail i hope these things are clear to you and uh, you can go and you can practice this time of your routing in your lab and i hope you really enjoyed it and you learned something from this video if you really like it then please like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will be able to receive notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.